So good afternoon from Mangaman Homestead. What I'm going to show today is how we prepare our rootstocks for grafting. Now here in our orchard we have a very limited space so we need to grow our trees very small. So what we try to do is use uh, dwarfing rootstocks where possible and then if we're going to use just generalized rootstock we, um, we use turpentine or we'll use saber and for the dwarfing we use um, a rootstock called piva which keeps our trees even smaller. In this case what we're looking at here is a turpentine tree and turpentines are polyembryonic meaning there are multiple embryos per seed therefore you have three different shoots coming up now what we want to do in this case is we want to we normally want to rogue out the biggest and the smallest of the seedlings you do this in order to select for the uniform um, polyembryonic embryos and get rid of the sexual embryo the sexual embryo will tend to be the biggest or the smallest it's not an exact science and you probably are only 70 percent of the time are you right but it does increase your uniformity of your rootstocks so what we do here is i'm going to pour out the soil like this okay now on here I've actually, I've, I've cheated a little bit. I, I separated these right before we did it just to save time. But you can see you have three different embryos all still attached to with these rootstocks like this. I'm sorry for the sun there blocking their view, but there they are, the three different ones. This one is considerably smaller and is is looks actually quite a lot different it's hard to tell on the camera but it looks quite different so i'm going to make the assumption that this is the sexual embryo so now i have the two embryos from these seeds now we're separating these things you don't have to do this this is just a way to save material in a year like this we have very limited um very very limited rootstocks so we separate and um in order to be more efficient so in this case we're going to pot up each one of these in a separate pot and we're going to add the soil back in pot them up and then once they're to the size of about a pencil we would graft them all right and then we'll show grafting videos later but this is again the way you prepare your rootstocks it can be turpentine it can be saber it can be piva it can be any good polyembryonic rootstock that is appropriate for your location thank you very much